Hey guys, we're over at Fenton looking at Sheila and Lori's system. We're going to do a replacement of the furnace. We'll pull this furnace out. Our new furnace will go back in the same location. Um, our flue pipe's going to get replaced. We need a 5x4x3 by by swivel T. There is a shutoff valve up here on the gas line for the furnace, but we're going to have to rebuild gas line anyway. Um, we'll just come back down to this point and rebuild into the new furnace and into our new water heater. New shutoff valves and unions for both of those. Um, return drop's going to get replaced from the floor down to the ceiling. We'll do a 5 inch media cabinet in between the drop and the furnace. Electrical's over here on the side of the furnace and it runs up above the joist space and conduit, so that's all up to code. Um, there is a humidistat installed on this system for a humidifier that doesn't exist or is buried somewhere in the ductwork. Um, so we can put a new humidifier in if they'd like to. Refrigerant lines may end up getting rerouted. Um, so right now the refrigerant lines come out of the top of the coil and they come straight out to the outdoor unit. If we end up putting the unit back in the same spot, we'll just run new refrigerant lines to that location. If we end up replacing the refrigerant lines, we're going to need about, I would say, 25 to 30 feet of refrigerant line to come up to the ceiling. We're going to go through this wall here in the back. And that should go straight out the back side of the house here. And the new unit would get placed out here on this side. Um, electrical is going to follow the breaker panel and the refrigerant lines as well. And while we're out here, um, we're going to do some thermal uh, or some combustion air grills. They're going to go in the walls here, um, wherever you guys see fit to put the combustion air grills. Um, they'd like to add one six inch supply vent, so we'll just need a six inch start collar, a six inch straight boot and um, a standard 4 by 10 register that's going to go on the wall right here. That register can stay. Drain lines run down to a floor drain right here. And breaker panel was a Murray load center. I'm not sure which circuit is for the outdoor unit. There's two 30 amp circuits here, so it's one of the 30 amp circuits that feeds the outdoor unit. Um, as far as access in the basement, I've um, got some carpeted stairs here that you're going to have to come up and down. Um, we can bring the equipment possibly through the garage or from the back door. Um, that's pretty much everything down here. Um, oh, water heater. For the water heater, we'll do a new 40 or 50 gallon water heater, new thermal expansion tank, and we'll cut all the copper close to the ceiling and rebuild everything back down. That's it. All right, guys, here's our outdoor unit. We're going to pull this condenser up. We'll pull the pad up. We'll do a new uh, disconnect box and electrical whip on the other side of the house. So everything is going to get mounted to the wall right here on the foundation, and the unit will be um, sitting on top of that wall rack. New disconnect box, new electrical whip, and all the refrigerant lines will then be replaced.